Uh, material science and engineering is the study of uh, the properties of materials, uh, why they have the properties they do, what controls those properties, how we can use those properties to our advantage uh, in, in the design of uh, components or new, new uh, devices, and, uh, and then to, to uh, develop new, new materials uh, and, and based on our understanding of, of those properties. A crystal structure will tell you how strong something is, how something was processed will affect how it reacts in an actual environment. I'm an avid cyclist and skier, so your equipment is all materials. And a lot of it was breaking on me always, you know. So I kind of came into materials thinking that I can improve, you know, the equipment I use. I've gone out into the industry before, I just in my, actually out in my internships, and they've been overwhelmed. They've been really impressed with the way that our department here uh, teaches us and as well as prepares us for uh, communication as well as the general knowledge behind material science. When you go out into industry you're going to see it all the time and to get a good understanding of what you're using before you go out into industry is really important. Um, you know we get to see firsthand how to use the equipment and why you would use it and what kind of information you get out of it so that when you go in and out into the real world and you have a job you can um, you know, sound like you're informed and that you came from a really good background. My favorite experience, um, well, it was just the other day, just pouring casts in the foundry. It's really nice because you get a hands-on experience. Uh, when you first come in, you don't get a technical projects. They usually give you a project that you can get involved in. In my case, I did uh, lost foam casting of mugs, which is, I had never heard of lost foam casting before, so I got to work through the process. I learned how it worked, and we actually had to produce parts, and we got to sell them. And then, of course, that money comes back, and we use it in the enterprise for other projects in the following years. We have a, a lot of um, resources available for, uh, to support students in their education. And the fact that you know, tuition and fees and things are going up very rapidly, uh, having a little extra money uh, in the form of a scholarship or a fellowship of some sort is very helpful to the students. Michigan Tech, you don't have to apply for scholarships. You just automatically are applied for them by being a member of the school. And I was really surprised that there is scholarship opportunities and then almost every week you get emails about scholarship opportunities and internship opportunities and research opportunities that you can take up and you can try to get if you want. The, the department, the, the material is challenging. There's no doubt about it, you know. There's a lot, there's a lot of information that you, gotta, that you gotta absorb and use. But as far as the class sizes, they're small. There's, you know, which, which translates into lots of help from your professors. The faculty are awesome because you can actually have a one-to-one -one relationship with them. You spend a lot of time in their office hours and they start really start to get to know you and you can goof around e with them even a little bit. <laughs> Being in a beautiful location uh, with a, a smaller campus where you get to know not only your, your fellow students better, you get to know the faculty and staff a lot better. Uh, and all of, all of those are, are positive uh, uh, or major advantages, I think, to a, a student's education. Every day you see a new face, but every day you see so many familiar faces on campus. Um, so you kind of feel at ease, whereas on a bigger campus, maybe, you know, you, you never see the same person twice. There's, there's a lot of potential with all the students around here just because of how much time the faculty will give you if you want it. And obviously there's got to be that drive coming from yourself, but if you want to go find a job, the job fair, even for Michigan Tech, as in general, not even our department, does a fantastic job um, bringing the companies in for you, and then it's up to you to go around and talk to them. But the job fair lasts all day, and I couldn't make it to every material science company there. So Our graduates um, uh, are well sought after by industry. Uh, at the time of graduation, uh, when I do exit interviews, over the last dozen years or so, 90% uh, of the students have a job before graduation. The rest of them find a position over the summer. They email me, let me know, and so we typically have 100% placement. Um, that includes about 20% or so of our students going to graduate school.